Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Demon Deacons are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Jones fields it at the 7. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's the give. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Complete. He's got room. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Field. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Let's go, fly to the ball. Let's hustle left. I check this is four. Shoot, shoot. Makes it out to about the 39. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Second and 
And he's tackled around the three yard line. No game. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Cornhuskers were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Cornhuskers win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Virginia's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 45 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Diving for extra yardage. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From the 36-yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 28. Anderson gains eight yards on that play. That makes it second and two. Double tight, guys, double tight. Two down, two down. Hey, look for you. Go, 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 go. Got it. Tight end's got the first. He's knocked out of bounds around the 19-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And they make the stop at the 7. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 7-0, Demon Deacon. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Now he's flushed and they got it. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers.
Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it third and goal. So it's third down, but the offense is only four yards away from evening this game up. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Loss of two by the halfback. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Pistol Pete has the guns a blazing as Oklahoma State takes the field in Stillwater. And for Oklahoma State, they are asserting their will. The Cowboys are out front, 21 to 7. 7-3 in this one. Jones Looks like they're ready turn. for the kick. Gathered in at the six. Tackle at the 29-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Wake Forest is up four. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Throws it out there, grabs it, and he might go the distance. And now he's got room to run. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it 35. Wake Forest is up by four. Grabs it and hammered right there. When you only need a couple of yards on third down, as a quarterback, you always want to try to find a receiver to throw to that's across the first down marker. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and he got it. Carroll has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line. Oh, man, he took him down hard. 
know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's got his man across the middle. Good open field tackle. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 40-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He's on the run. Tackle around the 45-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Excellent open field tackle. Mitchell picks him up about three yards with the catch. Wake Forest's going to take their first time out of the half. Espinoza is the punter. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wake Forest is up a score. They hook up over the middle. He's hit and taken down. Demon Deacons on this use their second timeout. First and ten. Ball on their own 34. Across the middle, tight end's got it. He's tackled in the open field. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. And he is drilled at the 40. at the 30, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Wake Forest called their final timeout. From the 29-yard line, first down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 81-yard drive. And the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 17-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers. 
but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some hash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's out to the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Virginia. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. Receiving team. frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping that penalty really is going to set them back there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game finds his man first down they'll bring him down at the 47 First and ten. Ball on the 47. Tackle made right around the 50. Inside the 43. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Fields is back to receive. He's out of bounds at the 17-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Fires to the wideout, first down. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 30. Fires incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's a gain of 10. That brings up fourth and three. White awaits the snap. He's got the corner. He's tackled at the 35. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Hey, 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 hey. 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Steps up. He rifles it. They can't connect. Incomplete. Espinoza is waiting for the snap. Fields takes it to 25, and down he goes to the 39-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. the 31-yard line. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. Caught with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at about the seven yard line. It to the six yard line. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to check out what's going on in Norman. And for Oklahoma, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. And for Cox, He's tossed a couple of touchdown passes. The Miners are on top, 14-7, getting late in the third quarter. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Wake Forest, kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Wake Forest is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Almost picked off. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Got it, 
Incomplete, and he's out of bounds. Game of 14 on the play. First down. Gotta do better. Come on, QB, come on. Hey, look, 48. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Out of bounds at the 49 yard line. They're just one quarter away. 20 to 3. Demon Deacon. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop, but it looks like they're going to get the football back. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. scrambling and he can't get the pass off and he's sacked i think they had to go for it given the circumstances they just couldn't pull it off a conversion there could have really helped them but it just wasn't to be both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds. at the 33. Pitches back. And down he goes at about the 31. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he's taken down right around the 32 yard line. You gotta move quick. You gotta move quick right here. Strike to his receiver, no good. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quick toss. And it's the senior. He's taken down just outside the goal line. for extra yardage. No game. That brings up second and goal. Can't wrap him up. Touchdown, Wake Forest! point so that's a seven play 45 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense so our score 27-3 tackle made to the 38 yard line So we're just about ready to return to action. Roger, Roger. Hey, Quick 
throw onto the receiver, incomplete. From their own 38 yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. So this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick pass. He's at the 30. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down in the open field. That's a gain of four on one play. That'll bring up third and inches. And that sets them up with a first and goal. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. First down, first and goal here inside the five-yard line. Going to the end zone, touchdown for the tight end. They had a mismatch and exploited it for the score. If yep, you're right, the tight end had that one all the way, and there wasn't much the defense could do. And they're looking to get two points here. It goes straight to the back. And he comes up short on a two-point conversion. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Miners deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. UTEP out front, 21-7. to People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. At the 48-yard line, Demon Deacons on this event about as impressive as you can be in a football game. Uh, this is as good as it gets. The defense is playing great. The offense has done their job. We've got a blowout here. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. from midfield second down we have less than a minute to go tackle made around the 48 yard line
a handoff, and he's brought down right away. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 27-9, Demon Deacon. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.